Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will design a Turing machine for accepting all the strings of the form a power n, b power n for all n greater than 0. That is, the number of a's is equal to the number of b's and all a's comes first which are followed by all b's. For example, smallest string of this type is a b when n is equal to 1. For n is equal to 2, the string is 2 a's followed by 2 b's. For n is equal to 3, the string is 3 a's followed by 3 b's and so on. So we are having such type of strings in the language and we have to design a Turing machine for accepting this language. First we will see how Turing machine will decide when to accept the language and when to reject the language. Let us take an example. For n is equal to 4, we have 4 a's followed by 4 b's. In the first iteration, Turing machine will delete the leftmost a and for the leftmost a, it will delete the rightmost b. Replace the a with x and replace the b with y. Now the remaining string is 3 a's followed by 3 b's. In the second iteration, Turing machine will delete the leftmost a in the remaining string and for the leftmost a the Turing machine will delete the rightmost b. Replace the a with x and b with y. So Turing machine will keep on doing this iteratively and at the end Turing machine will be left with all the x followed by all the y's but no a's or b's. That means both a's and b's should be depleted or we can say vanished together and if the, this condition is satisfied the string will be accepted by this Turing machine. Let us take one more example to see how many states we require in this Turing machine. For n is equal to 3 we have 3 a's and followed by 3 b's on the input tape. Initially q0 is pointing to the leftmost a. On reading A, Q0 will replace it with X, takes a right move and changes its state to Q1. The responsibility of Q1 is to skip all A's and B's in between to reach the rightmost symbol. So Q, Q1 will move towards the right and as soon as Q1 reaches the blank symbol, Q1 will become aware that it has came one step further. So it takes a left move and changes its state to Q2. The responsibility of state Q2 is to check whether the last symbol is B or not. Q2 will replace the last symbol with Y only if the last symbol is B. And after that machine takes a left move and changes its state from Q2 to Q3. The responsibility of Q3 is to skip all A's and B's in between to reach the next leftmost symbol A in the remaining string. So Q3 will move towards the left and as soon as Q3 reaches the symbol X, Q3 will become aware that it has came one step further. So on reading X, it takes a right move and changes its state to Q0. Notice an important point that we have again reached the state Q0 that is from where we started, which means one iteration is complete now. Q0 on reading A now will replace it with X, takes a right move and changes its state to Q1. We have again started the next iteration here, okay? The next, the responsibility of Q1 is to skip all A's and B's in between to reach the rightmost symbol B in the string which is left. So Q1 will move towards the right and as soon as Q1 reaches the symbol Y, Q1 will become aware that it has came one step further. So it takes a left move and changes its state to Q2. Now wait here and notice one important point. Only in the first iteration Q1 will take a left turn from blank symbol. From the second iteration onwards, Q1 will take left turn from symbol Y. 
now the responsibility of state q2 is to check whether the last symbol is in the remaining string is symbol b or not and if it is symbol b replace it with y and takes a left move and changes its state to q3 okay the responsibility of q3 is to skip all a's and b's in between and move towards the left so as to reach the next leftmost symbol a so q3 will move towards the left and as soon as q3 reaches the symbol x q3 will become aware that it has came one step further so on reading x it takes a right move and changes its state to q0 in this way the second iteration is also complete because we have again reached the state q0 now the remaining string is ab let us start the next iteration on reading a q0 will replace it with x takes a right move and changes its state to q1 q1 will move towards the right skipping all a's and b's and as soon as q1 reaches the symbol y it takes a left move and changes its state to q2 the responsibility is of q2 is to check whether the last symbol in this remaining string is symbol b or not and if it is b then replace that symbol b with symbol y and takes a left move and changes its state to q3 and this time there is nothing to skip for q3 because q3 is already on the symbol x so q3 on reading x will take a right move and changes its state to q0 but this time q0 will find that it is not pointing to the symbol a but it is pointing to the symbol y so this gives two information to the state q0 first information is that all the a's are depleted and q0 is pointing to the symbol y this gives information that all the b's are also depleted so turing machine from state q0 on reading y changes its state to final state that is q4 and accepts this string without moving left or right that is no move situation got it now let us see the transition diagram for this turing machine to accept the language a power n b power n for all n greater than 0 initially we are on state q0 from q0 on reading a we will replace the a with x and takes a right move and the state is changed to q1 the responsibility is q of q1 is to skip all a's and b's and moves towards the right now if the state q1 reads the blank symbol during the first iteration or symbol y during the further iterations then q1 will become aware that it has came one step further so it takes a left move so as to point to the last symbol of the string and changes its state to q2 now q2 will replace the last symbol with y only when the last symbol is b then it takes a left move and changes its state to q3 now q3 have to reach the leftmost symbol so q3 takes a left left move skipping all a's and b's in between and as soon as q3 reaches the symbol x q3 will become aware that it has came one step further so it takes a right move and changes its state to q0 now q0 expects to get symbol a as next symbol for starting a new iteration but if q0 reads the symbol y instead of symbol a it gives two information to the turing machine as i have told earlier first information is that a's are depleted and when q0 is pointing to y this gives information that all the b's are also depleted so q0 on reading y neither moves left nor moves right changes its state to final state that is q4 and accepts the string got it now let us see the seven tuples for this turing machine we have five states 
Q0 to Q4. Symbols A and B are in input alphabet. Symbol A, B, blank symbol X and Y are tape symbols. Transition function we have already discussed through this transition diagram. Q0 is the initial state or we can say starting state. Capital B is a blank symbol. And in the set of final states, we are having state Q4. So that's all in this lecture. If you like the video, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.